Hi everyone, this is just a quick little tutorial uh, to cover uh, one of the very specific special permissions that are covered in Chapter 7. Uh, specifically, there is a permission called uh, U plus S, which is to change the user permissions to the S special permission or the special user ID. Uh, if you look in your uh, text, the, uh, the little table that describes the effects of the special permissions on files and directories, uh, describes the effect on files for the U plus S command, or the SUID, uh, to be the file executes as the user that owns the file, not as the user that ran the file. And I've always found that a little bit confusing to uh, wrap my head around. So I found a nice little website that I've included on Blackboard, a link to that website, that kind of describes this. Uh, in some nice detail as a nice uh, adjunct to what you are actually talking about and learning. Um, so uh, let me just kind of walk you through exactly what is happening here when I when we talk about the effective running a command as the uh, effective user rather than the real user. So right now I am uh, the user practice on a machine called Galago, right? And I've just opened up two different terminal windows here uh, and I'm logged in as the user practice on both of them, right? And as we know, as we've uh, seen in an earlier lab, uh, every user on their own account is permitted to change their own password. Um, at any time they like. You can put in your current password and then change it and that changes it effectively. So I'm just going to cancel out of there uh, and clear my screen. Uh, so that is a uh, an important powerful command that uh, normally only a super user or the user root should have access to because you do not want the average user to be going in there and changing the passwords for other people that live on the system. So let's have a look to see who owns this command password. Right, so we'll just do a nice list uh, using the long format uh, of the command password which is located in the uh, directory path of usr slash usr slash bin slash passwd. Okay, and as you can see the this command is owned by the user root and it is a member of the group root and as you can see in the permissions the user permissions has been set to the s rather than the x uh, for execute All right so this has been given a special user id right a special uh, circumstance and as we described the what the s user permission does is allows the user practice to run the command password as the effective user root rather than as the user practice. So how do we know this is happening and how can we check this? Right. So again, I'll put in the uh, command password to start the password change process. Okay, and then over here in my second window, I'm going to look at the process ID. What is the process ID for this uh, pr for this process that I've started over here. All right, so I can just look up the uh, pr uh, process and I'll look at all of them uh, and I will specifically uh, search for a, the, the process called password. All right, uh, so as you can see this is the this command password is being run on sudo terminal 0 which is this uh, over here. Okay, and that the process ID is 31143. Okay, so who is running this command right at this moment in time? What is the effective user ID? Right, and if you remember, each user has a specific integer number. Uh, in this case, uh, my user called practice has a user ID of 1001, and root always has a user ID of 0. All right, so let's check out um, who is running this uh, password command. So again, we will use the ps command. We will modify it uh, slightly using a slightly different set of options. So we'll see every command and we'll change the output format so that we only see the process ID. We'll essentially see the process ID of 31143. I want to see the effective user ID, which should be root, because we're running this command with the special S 
uh, user permission, and the real user ID, which should be the user practice, so the, user, the practice user ID. And I will, in case there are other uh, processes that are going on and to keep things clean, I will just search for the, uh, the process ID of 31143. So I only see, oops, that's some typos there. 31143, so I only see the password command. Right, so here we have our process ID, which is just like up here, right, and you can see the effective user ID is zero, which is the root user ID, whereas the practice user, right, if I looked at my ID for myself, I can see that my user ID is 1002, which is what we see up here. Okay, so although we are running the password command as practice without using the su command or the sudo command uh, because that command password has the special user ID of s it allows the user practice to run that command on their own account as if they were root even though they are not root they are still their practice ID so hopefully that kind of clears up exactly or makes a little bit clearer exactly what effective user IDs are, why we might want to use the special U plus S command under certain circumstances, and how that all plays out when running certain powerful commands like changing your password on a user account that you don't want to be applied to just any random person on the uh, system, but limit that to uh, the super user uh, ability to run that command.